Teresa, I'm home. Come on in, Renee. The coast is clear. <sighs> Looks like you can kiss that ball goodbye, Brian. You know Johnny's gonna kill you once he finds out. He's not gonna find out, because we're gonna get it back before he gets home. How come we ran away from that lady? Because she's a murderer, Renee. Her name is Violet Crumb, and five years ago, she had a nervous breakdown, killed her kid. Probably with that hoe she was holding. Chopped his head off. Got anything else to eat in this house, O'Brien? We almost got killed, and all you want to do is eat. I'm having feelings, OK? <sighs> Look in the kitchen, peanut breath. Don't eat us out of house and home. So you guys are making this up, right? No, really, Renee. Every night, her son's ghost comes back without his head and plays on the swings. And you can hear him screaming, the same screams he screamed when she cut off his head. Who told you all this? Everybody knows about it. Well, I don't believe a word of it. She didn't scare me a bit. She did it? She didn't. Good. Then you can go back and get that ball. That's a great idea. Yeah, but go at night. That way she can't see you chop your head off. Well, I never thought I'd live to see the day when I was be serving chips and dip to the Birmingham sex crime unit. Wish you hadn't done this, Mary Elizabeth. There's uh, drinks and chips and stuff here if anybody wants some. So when are you and Carl are going to sign the petition? Well, Carolyn, I, I, I'm not sure that it's the right thing to do. Why? Well, I was talking to my friend Renee, who's a lawyer, and she said that since Rick served his time, that he really has the right to live anywhere he wants. Oh, great. It's time to play Let's Protect the Pervert, right? Come on, what about our rights? Well, I'm not sure we have any legally. Yeah, but if that snake buys that house, he won't have to disclose he's a pervert because he won't be changing his residence. But we'll know. Well, so what? He'll still be free to diddle anybody in a diaper. Oh, you know what? Just give me back the petition, Mary Elizabeth, okay? Listen to this, everybody. Listen to this. Detective Dickerson just asked me if I had talked to my boys about sexual molestation. With all due respect, Detective, the twins are only seven years old. There are ways to talk to children about things like this appropriately. You have a four-year-old. How are you planning on telling her that Bowman raped a little girl? Appropriately, of course. Wait, I don't think he raped her. I heard there wasn't penetration. Oh, and that makes it okay? Oh, no, I didn't say that. Well, what if he only had her undressed and just watched? You'd be comfortable with that? Or if he just fondled her? Or had her fondle him. How'd you feel about that? I'd want him dead. Oh, well, there you have it. <sighs> well, looks like just the right time for the Reynolds to show up. I told you it's turned into a lynch mob, Mary Elizabeth. <laughs> What are you doing here? I had Grandma bring me home early. What'd you do, sneak in the back door? That's what you guys told us to do. Go upstairs right now. This is interesting. Now. Go. Rick. Oh, Mary Elizabeth. I know what this is, Mary Elizabeth. Please, let me come in. I just wish you could have told me and called you about this. You're good friends. If people found out you knew about this before, you'd only get hurt. Julie and I wanted to protect you. She knows about this? Of course. Rick, call her. I want to talk to everyone. Please. We haven't met. I'm Rick Bowman. Detective Dickerson. I'm sure you all must have a lot of questions. Come on, Carol, let's go home. Might be helpful to all of you if you heard what the man had to say. I think we know all we need to know. Oh, do you, Mike? I haven't reoffended since I was released from prison five years ago. I underwent treatment while I was incarcerated and was paroled early on the condition that I'd be on probation for 10 years and continue therapy once a week. I also take medication, medication that reduces any and all sexual desire. Now, that's quite a price to pay for a married man. I 
I don't expect any of you to forgive me or uh, even understand what I've done. I, I just want you to see this differently. Give me one good reason why. Because I'm not going to move. Now, who wants to go first? You don't uh, mess around with little boys, do you? It, it was never about a little boy or a little girl. It was more about their vulnerability. What? Most child victims lack attention at home. See, they, they feel lonely. Are you saying that little girl asked for it? Uh, no, no, I'm not saying you that. You are one sick puppy, you know that? You disgust me. Well, I think I should go. Um, I think the more you think about this, the, the more questions you're gonna have, so I, I want you to know that my door is always open. None of you want to hear this, but the fact that Rick came forward and made himself available to all of you speaks well for him. Statistically, that act in and of itself is a sign of rehabilitation. What in the name of James Jackson do you think you're doing? What seems to be the problem this time, Mr. Brinkman? As usual, you? Me? When have I ever been a bump in your road? Look within, Miss Jackson. Last year, it was all I could do to get you to speak at a cultural affairs tribute to your father. If you recall, I was the one who had to call the caterers, rent the sound system, decorate the hall, compile my father's bio for the papers, and write my speech. I shudder to think what you've got up your sleeve this time. Do you realize they don't even make this kind of paneling anymore? So? So you can't replace it. How did you find out what I was going to do? Your permit winded its way across my desk. If it hadn't, I would have never been able to prevent you from nearly destroying the very fabric of Birmingham and the 60s civil rights movement. I'm just renovating my office. For all we know, Martin Luther King may very well have turned on this light. And the illumination that followed may very well have triggered his dream. He had his dream in Washington. Regardless. I have filed a petition with the Birmingham Historical Society in hopes of establishing this office as a land.